Steve, when I was walking up here, I, I noticed this big booth that said Data Center of the Future, and it looks impressive, but you know, my first thought is, well, you know, marketing has really been to work here, you know, uh, with all the tagging and stuff. But really, Steve, what is it that makes this rack of equipment and wires the Data Center of the Future versus what we see in other places? Well, what we looked at was, essentially, every time you go to a trade show, you see booths for the racks, booths for the boxes, booths for the switches. The trouble with that is it's hard to visualize it in the context of a data center and see where you're going to be more efficient. Exactly. So we brought all that, in, all that infrastructure together, racked it out, and we literally built a data center. So as you can see here, we have core and aggregation layers in this end and access layer at this end with various technologies in the context of a data center using the latest cable management infrastructure and racks uh -huh. that will make your data center operations much more efficient effective, responsive, and resilient. Well, let's walk down here to the access side because that looks like uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff here, especially you got the UCF down here, um, you got the fabrics down here. Explain to me what we have here on the access side. Okay, so the big news at the show this year is the UCS system. This is the first time it's been put out in public at a, at a trade show. So as you can see here, the UCS system with two blade enclosures, uh -huh. two blades per rack, cabled up to the UCS 6100s here, which are the brains of the system, right, right. to show you how that would connect through. Then we have, in the next rack, uh, unified fabric. So what we have here is the Nexus 5, uh, 5010, 5020, with the Nexus 2148 fabric extenders. Fabric extender, right. Yeah, right. so a full unified fabric solution in a rack. Okay, and then you also have uh, the, the, the MDIS series as well, uh, and, and a bunch of other things. What do we have on this side? On this side, we have our existing Catalyst infrastructure. So as you can see there, the Catalyst 6509 VE, uh -huh. and above it, the MDS 9506. Mm -hmm. This is a typical end of row architecture. Now, right next to that, we've got our top of rack architecture. So both the Catalyst 4948, 10 gig, as well as the 4900M, which is the modular switch that takes 10 gigabit ethernet, as well as gigabit ethernet. Very cool. I also noticed that you even got some of the APC cooling systems in here. I mean, this is a real, you've got the, 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 the Panduit uh, fiber runs up here. I mean, you've really built out a, an operational data center here. This is, this, that was the intent, to show everybody how this would plug together, how this would actually look in real life. And then you can start to look at the efficiencies you can gain with a fully integrated infrastructure that takes network, cabling, layer zero, if you like, into mm -hmm. a full system. The only thing I think you're missing here is like some uh, half drunk coffee cups and uh, you know some of that kind of stuff. Some papers laying around. So we're trying to keep it like a data center. We're trying to keep food and drink out of the area. <laughs> you guys, are, you guys are too rigid on that stuff, man. Well, this is this is a a, a great data center, a fantastic build out. Um, what else is that that you'd like to tell folks out here that are uh, looking at this thing for the very first time? So if you look at this data center of the future, you'll notice that it's not just Cisco. There's a, there's a number of partners in here, obviously. We've got Panduit, APC. We have Liebert here for cooling. Down the other end here, if we want to walk that way. Yeah, let's take a What do you got down here at this end then? Now, this is the core side. This is core everything. side. And I see you've got the V-Spear in here, which is obviously very important mm -hmm. uh, in data centers right now. You also have the EMC cool. stuff as well. Yep, so in here we have a lar uh, our largest core switch here, the Nexus 7018, oh, fully cabled. As you can see, it's critically important to get your infrastructure right from a cabling perspective. Imagine trying to troubleshoot that in the middle of the day. Yeah. So it shows the airflow considerations, the cabling considerations, and how you can get the best efficiency there. Yeah, I love I love this, this Panduit quick net. This is really pretty cool. It does make it a little bit easier spot and you can tell by all the fiber optics in here how thin the wire is a physical layer problem in this type of switch could really be a a, a day-long process yeah. to troubleshoot so Absolutely. management is a critical consideration then we have our emc storage systems as well as vmware vSphere on display um, so people can see what the facilities are of this particular system hmm, very cool and then coming to the end here this is more talking towards our application delivery solutions of course so right. there's was there's asa firewall we have the ace application control engine as well as our iron port secure email um gateways there and global, global site selector too very cool that's yeah. uh well this is pretty cool you've really taken uh, taken us uh, really from basically layer one all the way up to the top of the mm -hmm. stack and any type of data center 
um, that's what we're looking at. You know, one of the things that I didn't see addressed in here, which is really important for data center design today, is DCI. Have you guys addressed any DCI stuff in, in this layout at all? So there is a data center interconnect solution in here, and it's right behind these gentlemen here. Let's take a peek. You know, that's why I said that, because I knew everybody was in the way, and I kind of wanted to push more so, on that. So what I've done is integrated all the components that you would require for a data center interconnect solution uh -huh. within this chassis. So as you can see here, there's a VPN services spa. Yep. That gives you encryption capabilities up to 10 gig rates. So you can have fully encrypted data between data centers. A couple of um, spas here for gigabit ethernet connectivity. We Absolutely. do do 10 gig. What else do we have here? And then we have our traditional application layer services. So we have the application control engine here uh -huh. and a firewall services module here, as well Sweet as eight gig connectivity that we can do in one of two ways. We can connect this directly out to the WAN, or we can use the Nexus 7010 now for 10 gig connectivity. So it's a fully integrated system. Well, Steve, you've really built up, built out a very impressive uh, data center. Thank you. You and your team. I mean, I know that you want to oh. make sure that it wasn't just you out here with a screwdriver and pulling cables and stuff. No, there was a huge amount of help over the weekend, and the team really did pull together on this one, so. Well, Steve, thank you so much for, for turning this data center, and I bet you money this is probably getting a lot of foot action here. Oh, it? yeah, we couldn't walk through end-to-end -end last night. It was very, very cool. Thanks, Steve. I Thanks very, very much, Jimmy.